Welcome back guys, this is Emerald Doctor, and today we're going to be doing a snapshot related video. We are in the 32D snapshot, and what we're going to be looking at uh, today is uh, like a survival non-command block uh, kit selector, basically. So you can pick a kit. Uh, it's been made a lot easier with these stands. So yeah, let's go check it out. So we got the new doors here and the new suit's armor with the skeleton heads on. Just for looks, obviously. Walk in here, you get the crazy pictures on the wall, and then like your typical select a kit or class thing. This can be used as like a quick kit if you want to put it in your world for like, oh, I killed, got died in the nether, or got killed in the nether, whatever. You click the button, and your nether gear comes down, or I died in an ocean for trying to find the guardian. Uh, click that button. Died in a cave, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Infinitely long, doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, I want to be a tank. Just for demonstration, so I click the tank button, turn around, the lights turn blue to let you know, and then your set of tank armor, which is always a diamond set of armor, get that, and then you get your all your tank supplies in here. Do the same thing with the knight, click the button, it turns a steely gray color, and you get your iron armor, and you, you actually have to clear the, there you go, now it's gray. You gotta make sure you double click it if you want to change a class, so it clears out the color here, it doesn't matter for anything else but the color. Click that again, get your iron armor, and then your typical knight stuff of the diamond sword. And then we clear that color back to white. And I'll be an archer. Personally, this is my favorite class uh, anytime I've ever played survival games. Turns like a disgusting brown color. But yeah, you get your chainmail armor and your bow. And I just broke it, but that's okay. Uh, and you get your monk class which is your potion slash wizard, I don't know what they always call it. Press that button, clear your brown, you get this goo green color, kind of matches the slime blocks a bit, and you get your leather armor, and your chest full of tons of potions, including the new jump potions, and yeah. So, let's go take a look at how this thing works now, and right before we do that though, I'm going to point out something kind of interesting though. The slime blocks, even though you can put rails on them, like right here, uh, they count as a C, uh, clear block, basically, the beacons, which is really cool. That means you guys should have redstone there or whatever. That's the only block, I believe, that does that. No glass can. So yeah, quick fun tidbit. So here's how this thing's working, basically. You hit one of these buttons down here. It sends a signal to the repeater, goes up the redstone ladder, and then it powers the power track underneath here, and then the those are two minecarts, one regular minecart with the stand in it, and then one chest minecart. They speed off together and then they land uh, down there after they hit this because they don't want to fly off, you know, so. That's how that works with those. And also when you hit the button, it sends a signal down here. Each one of them does the same thing. Basically, it goes to a uh, monostable circuit into the T flip-flop, and it powers the repeater, um, the repeaters, ha, the pistons, and then they push the color blocks respectively to where it's supposed to go, and they color the beam of light so you know which class you picked without even, without even remembering which you picked. It's like a double memory thing, I don't know. That's how all that works. Um, so basically, to get the two minecarts inside one another, that's not the easiest thing on the planet to do. But it's really cool if you want to do something like this, because I think it's a lot of fun, even if it's not quote-unquote practical. <laughs> so you just need to grab some block, you know, just typical stuff, and then you grab a one of these stands. Alright, so you get some tracks, regular tracks. Here's your starting point. And we're going to put down these tracks like that, just three wide with a power rail right here. Stand, whatever direction you want, place it like that. Minecart, push the minecart in there, and it's stopped by this because it make, acts like a brake. Push it all the way as far as it can go. And then you break all these, well you don't have to break these, I mean they'll be part of your thing, but we're breaking them for the time being. And we'll go up here, it needs to be two, like a block above this thing because it's like three tall. And then you put one power rail up here with your minecart chest. And we'll put these rails back, actually. And you fill it up with whatever you want. And when you're done, you click here. And they kind of like stick together like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, and sometimes that one, the they push each other and like they start roll away. So I always, like, if you have a track like this, I break that one. So you just push it back and reset. So that's how all that should work. And yeah, it's going to be most of the video here, guys. It's just more of a show off, hey, look what you can do in the new snapshot kind of video with the new colored stuff, the new doors, uh, the new sandstone, and 
of course, the new sets of armor and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this survival kit thingy. And I hope to see you the next time.